Anesthesia is basically using calculated poisons to have an animal under so we can work on them. There's no such thing as a safe anesthetic. There's safe anesthesiologists. That's why your veterinarian will ask you to do some pre-anesthetic procedures and tests on your pet to make it as safe as possible. For example, a blood test to check the liver and kidney values to make sure we have the proper selection of products to actually utilize to put them under safely so we have a very smooth induction and a smooth recovery. Safety is very, very important. Also, preparing your dog properly for anesthetic, such as fasting the night before, taking away water for, uh, uh, six to eight hours before the procedure, those types of things. And when we say fasting, we don't mean just giving treats. We're talking about no treats, no food, okay? And it's important to tell your veterinarian if you feel that your pet has eaten something. Then we would bring them in, we would do some procedures, but more importantly, we would then give some pre-anesthetic uh, medicines that make them a lot calmer and, a, and give pain-killing attributes and make it safer to give a gentle anesthetic. And the gentle anesthetic is using a knockdown drug to make them sleep, and then we put them on an inhalant anesthetic that's hooked up to a gas machine that's the safest we could do. However, there's even a more important thing that veterinarians do, and that is monitoring your pet under anesthetic. So the first thing we do is we have a trained technician to monitor the animal while they're under. We want to make sure that they're monitoring respiration, heart rate, blood pressure, all these things. Now we do also have equipment to monitor these things as well, and many other things such as blood pressure, oxygen saturation, temperature, depth of anesthesia is monitored. So all these things monitored make it as safe as possible for your pet to go under. When I say safe as possible, let's put it in perspective. It's usually more dangerous you driving your, cat or your car with your pet to the hospital than them going under an anesthetic. That's the reality. If safety precautions are taken. If they're not taken, yes, it is very dangerous. After the anesthetic, the recovery period, we actually have people watching the recovery until they're fully recovered. Because a lot of times, especially with some of the brachiocephalic breeds, it can be very tricky on recovery, where if you pull the endotracheal tube that they're breathing through under anesthetic, out too early, the things can collapse back there and they can suffocate. So as a result, you have to monitor very carefully as to when to do that. So if monitoring carefully, it can be extremely safe.